uh, in this video i am going to demonstrate how to connect one instance with the serial console so we have a two prerequisite the first one is so whatever the existing user we have on this machine this virtual machine so that user should have one password okay and uh, the second uh, like a prerequisite so uh, we should we should require one uh, t3 dot medium or a nitro system see and i can see that actually i change my instance type see previously this instance was in t2 dot micro so i changed it from t2 dot micro to t3 dot medium the reason is if we want to connect serial console the instance should be a nitro system so we have already discussed what is a nitro system and what are the type of nitro system if you have any further queries you can go to our documentation and you can just get it from there itself okay so now we can see that successfully i uh, whatever it is successfully i uh, changed my t3 dot medium so now i'll try to connect my virtual machine so for that we have we have an option of a connect so click connect and easy to serial console so select connect option and you can see that successfully connected so uh, once you get the blank screen so just uh, press on your mouse button then hit enter and you can see that login right so we have to put one username and password so i'll put username is a ec2 minus user then we have to put pa password as well see as of now i didn't create any password for this user so for that we have to connect this docker machine or this virtual machine first i'll go with ec2 instance connect then i will create a password for this user okay uh, so quickly i will change the password so let me become root first root also uh, then i'll password then ec2 minus user okay i'll put ec2 minus user as a password ec2 minus user done successfully done i'll go to my uh, like uh, serial console then ec2 minus sorry ec2 minus user enter and you can see that successfully i connected my virtual machine right so now i'll go to my virtual machine again uh, then i'll go to my instance so let me check the vpc name so what is the vpc name so vpc name is so we don't have any vpc name so but the vpc vpc we can identify 5v2 right i'll select the vpc then i will detach internet gateway from the vpc so later let's see whether we are able to access or not i'll go to internet gateway so 5v2 right sorry fb2 right sorry this one 5v2 okay i'll go to action detach from vpc okay so the problem is uh, the problem is actually uh, we have one running instance over there so we cannot detach we have to stop and we have to detach so anyway i'm not going to that i'll go to my route table i'll go to route table then let me check the vpc name 5b2 right this is my vpc so i'll go to my route then internet gateway edit route then i will remove this i don't want this save change okay i'll go to my ec2 instance again i'll try to refresh this and you can see that uh, like uh, this page will be end up with an error because uh, since we don't have any route to internet gateway we cannot communicate with internet and this is we cannot ca we cannot connect our ec2 instance let's see here you can see that i'm getting an error right so i'll go to my serial console again i don't have any internet connection now let's see whether i'm able to access through serial console or not okay so i have already one serial console i'll do one thing i'll just close this window then i'll go with my uh, ec2 machine again i'll try to connect ec2 console then connect and you can see that successfully i connected again see successfully i connected my virtual machine yeah that's all i not required any internet gateway i not required any like uh, e uh, like a proper route like internet route so even though i am able to access so this is as if a virtual machine is connected with our uh, aws directly by the help of uh, like a wired connection so we can tell like that okay so we can use this for troubleshooting so if i go to my instance and i'll i'll reboot this instance and you can see that all the information over there see i'll go to my instance again i'll instance i'll reboot this instance yeah reboot if i come to the serial console again you can see that see okay started uh, show play mode power off screen see and this will be updated all the information like uh, so whatever the thing is happening uh, while rebooting everything it is going to print acpa power off card yeah whatever it can be you can see that all the information see it's printing all the information of the systems like uh, so when it went for the shutdown 
at that state uh, what are the thing actually happening in petri everything is just getting out yeah finally it's powered off that's it okay uh, if you if you have any further doubts like uh, you can just mention in comment so as soon as possible i will give an reply thank you